think audiences are so drawn to love stories? What's fun about watching them? Because it's, so, cause it's tough and it's hard and it's, it's it feels like life or death. And, um, and, um, I don't know. It just it just seems to be that one you know that one phenomenon in our lives that that never sort of it's a story that never gets old. I, I don't know why. That's a good question. I haven't thought about it. It's um it's it, I mean especially young love. It's just because it's like insanely dramatic. You know, it's always a good story. What is it about this story and this film that sticks out from other love stories? Even maybe when you read the script. I think the triangle aspect might stick out a little bit. Um, you know, in regards to my my role um, as Mr. Brown, I think everybody's been in a situation where you know their best friend starts dating somebody they don't like, and um, and uh, you know the, the complications that can sort of come with the entrance of a third party, and, and obviously that happened in this film and um, happened in the real lives of these characters, and um, it was it was juicy to get involved in that as an actor. What's unique about working with Jane as a director? She's Jane Campion. Mm -hmm. That's sad, yeah. I mean, it's all unique. Um, she just, you know, she's just sort of a sort of a social genius in the way that she sort of like puts the right people together, um, you know, the right ingredients together, and she um, and she uh, sort of steps back and and lets things start to happen without trying to micromanage the action. Um, um, and, you know, she's one of the few filmmakers out there that really have something to teach.